So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question, right? We have a graph provided. So let's read the question and see how the graph helps us to find the answer. So the question says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. Which of the following equations is the most appropriate linear model for the data shown? So anytime I see linear model or just linear with relationship to a graph, I am thinking y equals mx plus b, which is the slope intercept form of a, of a line or of an equation of a line, where the m represents the slope, right, which is rise over run, and the b value represents the y intercept, y int for short. So looking at my answer choices, it looks like what the test writers have done here is they flipped around this y equals mx plus b and turned it into a y equals b plus mx. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to let that confuse me. But what that allows me to do based upon my visual graph here is just see, just see hey, is the b values that have been provided, do they make any sense? If I were to create a linear model, that line would have to look something like that. It may not be exactly like that, but it's going to look something like that. And what would the B value be? What would the Y intercept be? Well, for choices A, for, for choice A, choice answer choice A is saying that my B value is negative seven, and that is impossible, right? My Y intercept is definitely not negative seven. It's also definitely not positive seven. So A and B are gone just by checking this Y intercept. C and D both have the same Y intercept, which is positive 30, which kind of makes a lot of sense, even with the line that I've made here. Um, so 30 makes much more sense than negative 7 or positive 7. So C and D remain in this process of elimination kind of thing that we're doing with this question. The next point of interest here is the M value, which is the slope, right? So the slope is rise over run. So if I, again, looking at my line that I drew, looks like I'm going down for my rise, which makes it negative, And I'm running to the right for my run, which makes that positive. So that means my rise over run is negative over positive or negative divided by positive, which is equal to a negative number, right? Negative divided by positive is negative. Choice C has a positive slope, right? And this line does not have a positive slope, so C is out. And choice D has a negative slope, right? Negative seven. So this means choice D is the best answer. So without even seeing the actual the linear model, we can tell by focusing on the y-intercept and the slope that we expect from a positive and negative and kind of positioning standpoint to figure out that choice D is best.